Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And many of you may notice that I do have a little bit of a different setup. So please bear with me as I'm trying to figure out what works best for me. I am in the Caribbean and I am going to be here for the next couple of weeks slash months. So just hang in there with me as I just figure out what works best. And let's go ahead and jump right into this and see what messages Spirit has for you regarding the, the person that you're thinking about the most or your current situation. Woo, okay. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So for a lot of you, this is definitely going to be a situation where secrets are revealed. This could be a secret admirer, or it could be that you found out something about this person. They're feeling a bit heartbroken or restless or want to talk to you about this. They're viewing you as the Queen of Wands, which is very strong Leo energy. Wow, and we've got the King of Wands, so this does look like it could be a divine counterpart situation or you two are a power couple. And we've got the Eight of Wands, so Leos, a lot of you, you might be manifesting this. A lot of you, I'm realizing this actually may just be a secret admirer or maybe they're going to reveal some deep feelings. Some of you, they're moving on from someone or something and they're coming right to you. We've got the Chariot card, Cancerian energy. So yes, strong confirmation. This person's coming right to you, Leo. I'm seeing a lot of potential. I'm seeing this is exactly what you want or you've wanted. So let's check out the Seven of Swords in reverse. So this person's definitely moving on from someone or something. Now, of course, this could be you. Maybe you revealed your true feelings for this person or maybe they're about to reveal their true feelings for you. It's like they can't hold back any longer. All right, so we have, yep, the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, wins the race. You're getting a love offer here, Leo. This might be somebody who's been hanging out in your energy for quite some time. It could be like a friend. It could be a coworker. But this is like a very slow and steady energy. But this person knows they need to act fast. And they're coming in fast with that chariot card. Some of you, you met this person recently in cancer season or you've started talking to them. All right, we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. They're not the most confident here. They're crushing on you really, really hard. Now, for some of you um, in the past, this person may have been non-committal, but for, le for a lot of my Leos, I just feel like this person gets nervous around you or they might be worried that you're out of their league or that you're gonna reject them in some way because they're viewing you as the Queen of Wands, but this person is the King of Wands, right? So the Justice card, yeah, some of you, wow, you might be in separation from this person and they're looking for reconciliation. We've got strong Libra energy here, but I'm actually seeing more so, some of you, they've been waiting for you to leave a situation, whether it's a job or a living situation or a relationship, heal from a divorce or something like that. Um, some sort of unfair decision that was made um, is what I'm seeing here. But for a lot of my Leos here, I feel like this person's just worried that you're like aloof, that you're not interested. Um, I, I am getting this energy like they, they worry that it's all in their head, that you might feel the same way. Okay. And we have, the, yeah, they're worried. They're worried that you don't feel the same way. And maybe you've been flirting with this person. Maybe even some of my Leos, you told this person how you felt. But with the Page of Cups here showing up in reverse, I feel really strongly like they're just really worried you're not going to accept their offer, their apology, or you're just not, you're not into this. If you've recently had a breakup or something really difficult, they might feel like you need more time to heal. So you've got your King of Wands here. Their true intentions are to make this happen, Leo, and Seven of Swords in reverse. And they're going to come in and tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So you've got somebody, they're coming in and they're either going to reveal secret feelings or just tell you the truth about what happened. Yeah, this person's been in their head about maybe something they didn't tell you. I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker, though. I just feel like you're going to have a lot of communication coming in really fast with this Eight of Wands. All right. And we have the lovers. You have you have a big decision. Some of my Leos, you might be thrown off by whatever this is they revealed to you. And yeah, you're, you're being told to be strong. 
Uh, you've been through a lot. There may be something here that has really brought you to your knees. So if you're not ready, Leo, you do want to let this person know maybe you need more time to heal. Some of you, there may have been some sort of third party interference. Now, I'm not really reading it as like an, a romantic rival or something like that, but I do feel that, um, you know, it could be like bad advice, it could be gossip, it could be work. Maybe for some of you, it, it was a romantic rival. I mean, you know your story better than I do. We see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, but for a lot of you, I feel like this person is possibly leaving this energy behind with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It may be someone that was very controlling, maybe it was an ex or something like that. I do feel like it's very important, Leo, that you focus on healing, you focus on you. All right, you make the best decision for you and yours. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know about this person for my Leos, please? What else do we need to know about this person or this situation? Okay, they have a lot to offer. Okay, some of you, they're in financial recovery. All right, after, you know, after a divorce or separation, or maybe there was like, you know, they lost a job or something like that. Yeah, they're really worried that the relationship is over, that you're not going to give them a chance. But for a lot of you too, some of some of you, this third party was them leaving an ex or finalizing a divorce or something like that. Well, that connection is definitely over. If there was any third party interference, and it may have been a friend or a family member, this person told them off or stood up to them. All right, in your energy, Leo, spirit saying you may want to work on this or you may want to give this person a chance yeah, because there's potential for stability and security here, Leo. I'm seeing there's potential for something very solid, very committed. This person is going to come in and chase, all right, with the chaser card. So get ready. They're going to lay it on thick. <laughs> all right. Now, let's see. Is there anything else at play here for my Leos? Is there anything else at play that we're not seeing? Is there anything else going on behind the scenes here that we're not seeing? Or my Leos need to know here, please, spirit? Okay, we get detours. So there's definitely been intervention, delays, and detours. All right, and red flags. Tune into the subtle energy you're receiving about this situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and your intuition. All right, so for some of you, maybe there are too many red flags. Maybe you're not going to be giving this person a chance. But for a lot of you, regardless of this message, red flag, you do need to trust your intuition when it comes to this person because I do feel that there's been some sort of interference, someone or something that was trying to sabotage this connection. For some of you, it's distance. Some of you, there's a fear that there's too much distance to maintain this connection. But I actually feel, Leo, that may be another connection here. Maybe you're going through a divorce or separation here. I am seeing some of my Leos, you may not be full on ready for this or feel like you're ready for something solid. Again, the right person is not going to rush you. The right, right person is not going to be put off by you needing more time or boundaries. But for a lot of you, I feel like maybe they're letting go of somebody. This person might be letting go of somebody at a distance here. Okay, so let's see. What would this person, what does this person want my Leos to know? What does this person want my Leos to know? Silence. Okay, I'm at a loss for words right now. It's easier not to talk than to say the wrong thing. So I do think they have very measured speech. They do want to say the right thing. They want success here, but they've been quiet. But I do feel there's a restlessness. They do want to change that. And evolving. I've put away the past. So for a lot of you, they've put away someone or something from the past, and they're ready to step up and be the person that you need them to be. Again, we can't deny we've got the king and the queen of wands here. And you've got them. I'm becoming more willing to feel, to let you in, and be emotionally vulnerable. This is definitely a heart chakra situation, a divine counterpart situation here, Leo. So where I'm standing, things actually feel very good. But again, you do need to make the healthiest choices for you and yours. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Final messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos. So you deserve love. You are lovable and you deserve love. You deserve an honest love. You deserve something solid, stable, and secure. And for a lot of you, spirit saying it may be coming. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We get this beautiful energy here of engagement. So for a lot of you, they're about to bring, you know, bring you some sort of very interesting proposal. All right, Leos, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.